Hello everyone, my name is Augusto and in today's presentation I'll be teaching you how to insert transfer functions into MATLAB and also I'll be teaching you how to do basic um, operations with transfer functions. A quick overview, a transfer function is a mathematical representation in terms of frequency um, and it represents the relation between the input and the output. Let's say if we have a transfer function like this one, 1 over um, 4s squared plus 2s plus 1. The way to insert this into MATLAB is by only using the coefficients of the numerator. First we define the numerator as 1, then the denominator which would be 4, 2 and 1. When that's done you have to use the MATLAB command and command tf which basically converts them into a transfer function. So let's say tf of numerator and denominator. Let's call this is 1. All right. So there we have it, our first um, transfer function. Um, so for today's presentation I'll be I'll be using some um, block diagram simplification. So I'm gonna need two systems. So let's make one another one. It says an arbitrary transfer function. Num two and let's say a second denominator, let's make this phi three and two. Right? And now let's call a second transfer function is two, tf of num two and denominator two. And there it is our second transfer function. Now um, when you have a, a way to represent transfer functions of a system is by using block diagrams. Block diagrams can be complex like this one. Ideally you would only want a single block. Um, so in order to simplify them, uh, there are several operations you can do. Um, for instance, if you have a, a system that's cascaded or in series like this one, you use the MATLAB command. Um, series because they're in series. So it will be series of um, sys1 and sys2. And let's call this sys3 or actually sys cascaded equals 2. There it is. It's been simplified from two block uh, systems into a single one. Now let's say if you have a, a system that's uh, this one, as in parallel. For MATLAB, you have to use the MATLAB command parallel of sys of your first transfer function and sys2 our second transfer function. Let's call this uh, sys parallel to that. And there it is. Um, now let's say if you had a um, um, there is also this uh, operation or block simplification. For this, you will have to use a uh, division of two systems. On this one, on the first system, you can see it's just a line, so that's just unity. That just means one. So let's say sys division that's equals to uh, you would just divide the two systems for this one. So it'll be sys one divided by sys two, and there it is. For the last one, and the most common one too, that would be a transfer, no, not this one, feedback block. So when you have a, a feedback system like this one, um, you would use the command uh, feedback of your first system and your second system. And of course there is negative and positive feedback. For this case, you would use negative one. So there it is. Now, if you had a system that was sys1 and you wouldn't have a second system, but it would be a unity feedback, you would just change that sys2 into 1 like this. Uh, oh, this is 1 like that. And that's unity feedback. Now, if you want positive feedback, uh, you would use the same command, but you change the third uh, term into a positive, that would be positive feedback. And there it is. That's how you do uh, basic transfer function operations in MATLAB. Um, so, using block diagrams, it becomes easy to see where new blocks can be added to an existing system to alter system performance.
and that's it thank you for watching